welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we just did our daily weigh-in, and guess what? Guess what? This, this is a big moment for us, y'all. This is a big moment for us. We are officially, as you can see here, we have officially broke into them tools, y'all. I'm motivated. I'm more motivated than ever, y'all. We are, how many, hold on, hold on. We are, we are 46 days in, and I don't know why I was all up into the camera like that. I have no idea. But we are 46 days in, and we are just two pounds shy of losing 30 pounds in 46 days. So, y'all, it's, you know what I'm tired. Well, you just feel like you got something in your throat. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But nah, y'all, like, like for real, for real, though, this, this, is, this is one of those big moments because I've been in them threes for quite some time. And for me to step on the scale and officially see a two in front of them numbers, like, this is a big deal for me. It's, I mean, it should be a big deal for y'all, too, following the channel and following the health journey because, man, I have legit, I can legit say I have worked. I have worked to get back to those tools, but the journey isn't over yet. I'm still going, even, even I'm gonna let y'all in on the wife, y'all. The wife done been in the game 20, babe, how long we said this morning? 20, 20, no, it's only been 20, cause you started on the second. What's the day? Yeah, yeah, she's been in the game 20 days and she is down, how many pounds? Eight pounds. So we making it a family thing, y'all. It's not just me, it's family thing. We both losing this weight together. We both finna get fine together. We both finna get right together. We both finna get healthy together. However you wanna say it. However you look at health, whether it's to get fine, you wanna get healthy far as your cardiovascular and stuff, or if you just like me, you just wanna look good in your drop. Oh yeah, and Kate gained weight. Kate went from 73 pounds to 103 pounds, so he has gained exactly 30 pounds. We have, we did his doctor's appointment with the nutritionist. Yeah, with the nutritionist yesterday, and they said he is in the top percentile of, I forgot the big long medical word they use, but he's in the perfect range for a developing child his age to grow at an adequate, adequate pace and an adequate size. Not wide, but like growing up. So we don't know if he's gonna get any taller, but, but he's in the perfect range to grow. He's in the top 10%. So that is great. Especially y'all that's been following our journey the whole way with him and his diabetes. So y'all know that is major for him because he was teeny, 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 weeny, tiny. But y'all kind of distracted because our house in the is a mess. And it's not because of us, it's because I'm gonna put the clip here. A couple months ago, our house got flooded because of, I don't know why, some of the people upstairs did, and basically, I do know why. Yeah, it was one of the Texas Freeze, and it's, it's not what they did, it's what they didn't do. And you know, anybody that stay where it freeze, you have a hard freeze, you're supposed to leave the faucet and stuff dripping just a little bit so it won't freeze. They ain't do that. So when it heated back up, since they stay upstairs and we stay downstairs, water gonna find its level. So guess where the water came into? Yes. As you see here, the water came into our apartment. So I don't know if y'all remember how we've been having these holes. If I showed y'all, I know y'all probably seen them in the background, some of my videos, how we had like exposed holes in the walls. That's where it came from, for them having to come and fix all of that. This has been like a two month process of them trying to fix it. And this is supposed to be the last week. What should have been a two day process this week has turned into an all week process. They started on Monday. They're supposed to be done. They're supposed to be here Monday and Tuesday and be done and out of our hair so we can get our apartment back set up like normal. Didn't happen. It's currently Friday and they still not done. That's why y'all been seeing all these boxes and stuff behind me. Cause normally this stuff being our, our closet, our utility closet we have, but because of the exposed walls and us waiting for them to come back and fix it, we haven't been able to put it up. So we've been, so this is what we're dealing with, y'all. Just all the stuff that's supposed to go in the closet. This is just out. This is just out. 
Now, this is currently, this is fine. All this right here is fine. They fixed this. But they still want to come back and paint up in here. Like, this is where where they need to come back and finish painting and stuff. I don't even know if y'all could tell in the camera. But they got to come back and finish painting the baseboards and all of that stuff. Personally, I don't care. I stick all this stuff back up in here and say, look, y'all better charge to the game. And y'all can paint this when we move out for the next people. But we want to do the right thing. We want to let the people finish. And see, that's them knocking right now. So let me go and get this situated, y'all, and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, it is currently, I don't know if y'all can see that, but 12.50, and I'm finna get ready to eat my first meal. We haven't been to the gym yet. We were supposed to go and do an early gym session, but as y'all saw, um, somewhere up in this vlog, the people came in to do the pain and stuff, and so now we're waiting on them to get through. Like I said, I'm just ready for this process to be over, but first meal here, I'll show y'all this, sir. I had a Quest bar while I was, the birthday cake Quest bar while I was waiting for everything to uh, get done. But far as food, food, I'm just gonna do some tater tots for the carbs, broccoli, let's see, uh, my face out like some broccoli with cheese on it. There we go. Yeah, broccoli with cheese and some chicken, four ounces of chicken. But all the uh, macros or whatever for it to be right here on the screen, as y'all can see. But I'm, I'm dialing it back. Like I had, I dialed it back yesterday a little bit as well. I'm dialing it back on the amount of calories I consume for one thing because the last few days, my knee, my right knee has been doing the most. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. Like, I just don't know, but it's, I've been having pain in it even when I sleep, when I'm sitting down. I started today doing like uh, like some knee strengthening exercises on my little mat that I looked up on YouTube. They kind of help a little bit. I don't know if it's, I might have strained something, sprained something. I don't even know if you can sprain, well, yeah, you can sprain knee, but I don't, I don't know what I did. I just know all of a sudden it just started hurting out of nowhere. But I've been doing that. But then too as well, I'm taking everything, like my wife's word for a year, I'm taking it all in joy, but I'm still gonna be relentless with my, you know, with my workouts and what I do to the best of my ability. Or that, you know, that my that I my body allows me. But I'm too since I finally broke into the twos, I'm focusing a lot more now on making sure I hit my macros properly, making sure I get the right amount of protein, making sure I'm not consuming too many carbs, making sure I'm not consuming too many fats because the easiest thing to consume is you eat. If you ever start tracking your meals and tracking your macros, which when I say macros, I mean your proteins, carbs, and your fats, you will come to find out that it's super easy to hit carbs and fats because everything we consume, especially in America, are full of carbs and fats. But the hardest thing for you to get and actually hit a decent number of is protein. And one thing you gotta figure out is, in order to hit them protein numbers, like my protein numbers are 210 still. And in order for me to hit them protein numbers, I gotta take supplements, protein bars, or consume a, a ridiculous amount of chicken. Chicken and turkey or some fish. But the thing with the fish, you gotta be careful with the fish because the fish has fat in it. So it's it's tricky and it's something that I'm, I'm going into this next, mm, I'll say two months, really, really the next 
month or two, I'm going to be very, very focused on structuring my meals and finding something that's going to help me hit those macros properly, particularly my protein. And as well, I'll talk about this a little bit more later. I'm going to be changing my workout structure now that I've been got on the 200. Plus, I've been doing the same workout routine for the past eight weeks. Yes, it has been, well, six to eight weeks, something like that. I had to properly count it for y'all to figure out what it is. But, yeah, that's that. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat this and consume this. And we're going to wait for them to get through. The wife got a couple meetings and stuff. I got some stuff I could be doing on the iPad, too, as well. And we're going to wait and try to get some gym session in here in the next, next couple of hours or so. If not, it's going to be another late night gym session for me. So, it is what it is. I'll get back with y'all. What's good, guys? Welcome back to another workout. So, today we got arms here. Um, today, I, I also added something different into my arms. I added in a bunch of more, like single arm movements and as well i added like four sets or four workouts into every muscle group so i did four workouts for my biceps and as well four workouts for my truck you know what correction i think i did three workouts for my tricep but i wanted to do more reps more sets on each muscle because on this day i did not uh, do any cardio like I was telling y'all earlier. I took my cardio out even though I did attempt to try to do cardio on the bike But it just didn't work out. But as you can see here, I've switched from the The cable arm curls the red cable arm curl to the reverse cable arm curls here Just trying to also as well as I incorporate These different these different movements in here trying to hit my muscles from different angles here and I with this being my first time trying the reverse curl with the cable, I really love like the amount of tension in the way I got a good burn from this. So I, I think this is something that I'm gonna be adding to my workout routine in the future as well. Like like I said, adding like you see here the the single arm movements into my workout because like even with this right here, just being able to focus my mind on a good squeeze up top with that bicep and focus my mind on trying to get my form correct and as well keep good tension on that bicep and just you know get that lactic acid build up into it like this is something that like I said I haven't been doing before but I just start incorporating it in my workout on this day here because like I said I knew I wasn't going to be able to do do any cardio because of you know like I said my knee but something I want to point out right here this ain't even about me I want y'all to take a look at my wife because she's been into the gym for a short time and y'all look at her form I am more than proud of her form over there like for her if y'all could just see her when she first started she used to struggle with this exercise and she's over there doing this like she's been in the well she's been in the gym for a little while but she's in here doing this just like a pro so I'm I want to take time out to shout out her because I think she did an amazing job yesterday because she actually went in there and focused on her exercise by herself. She didn't really need any help. She went in and knocked it out on her own. So shout out to her. Now, as you can see here, we're doing the uh, tricep, like the rope push down. This is one of my favorite movements as well. And as well on the tricep push down, I worked in a single arm movement for this as well. That, I, I mean, it was... It, it was amazing doing that single arm, the single arm push down with just the cable, with just the ball, as y'all gonna see here in a second. And it really, really, really helped me put a lot of tension on my triceps that I have been missing as I've got back into the gym. But like this, um, the way I've been doing my workouts, this is gonna be the last week of me doing it, or workout routine, or workout cycle, should I say, of me doing that. Because um, starting the next cycle, I'm going to change to uh, push-pull leg days. And that's mostly because I want to be able to hit my secondary muscles and focus more on hitting my secondary muscles as I focus on hitting the primary muscles. That way, through the workout, I could put more um, tension, so to speak, more tension on those muscles, just, just like um, 
working in my triceps as I do like bench press and stuff like that. That way, as I'm doing bench press, I'm already putting tension on those triceps. So that way, once, you know, I move on over into doing my triceps, that like you know on my on my pull on my, i mean on my push days that you know i didn't already start building up some type of you know lactic acid on those triceps and then i could just focus on hitting those triceps and just go ahead and blow those suckers out same thing like with back back and biceps and stuff like that and if you understood understand push pull days you know exactly what i mean but that's that's gonna be the new change that i'm gonna incorporate here as I, as, like I said, as I change my workout on this next workout cycle, but I, I, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and joining the workout with me. And as well, I will put this workout routine in the description, something I haven't been doing, but it's going to be the end of the workout. And y'all, like I said, y'all go try it out. Go try it out and see, you know, see how y'all feeling and how these movements help for y'all. All right, y'all. Let's see. Just wrap up solid. Arm um, workout. Try to do a little cardio on this bike back here behind me, but that ain't for me. Well, at least not right now because that bike hurt. So now I'm finna get to the crib, get some food in me, get some protein, and on with the rest of the day. All right, I just made it back to the house. Not, I'm not gonna eat per se a full meal right now, but I am about to get some protein into my system. So I'm gonna do a protein shake. I'm gonna do probably just one scoop. Yeah, one scoop because with this one scoop, I'm also gonna consume a protein bar. So that's gonna be my after workout meal. I don't want to do too, too much because I didn't do any cardio today because uh, really, like I told you earlier, because of my knee, I'm probably going to start cutting my meals back into two meals a day and like maybe some protein snacks or something like that so that I can, since like I said, since I'm not doing a lot of cardio in the days I do do cardio, I don't do a whole lot like I normally would. Until, so until I get my knee back to where I want it to be, I'm gonna be cutting out my meals to probably like two solid meals and like, like I said, healthier, like protein snacks or something, protein like some tuna or something like that. But yeah, I'm finna go ahead and consume this. Me and the wife might try to go to HEB here in a little bit to try to just go pick some stuff up the way she just moved ahead. I don't know, we might not be going nowhere. But, um, but yeah, so I'll check back in with y'all here in a little bit to show y'all what I consume and the calorie count for what I consume for dinner. So, yeah. All right, guys, we are about to go to um, HEB. It is a late one. It is currently, if y'all can see it. As you can see, bingo, 856. But yeah, we about to go to HEB and pick up a couple of things. I'm really not hungry. Now, I did eat some, like, leftover tuna I had. Just It was like 100 grams, really like 110 grams, I think, of tuna I had left over from this week because I've been eating some tuna this week. Not really, really hungry. So once I get back from H-E-B, I don't know if I'm going to eat anything or not. One thing I've been trying not to do is, and the reason being is because I'm trying to break, like, old bad habits. But if I'm not hungry, I haven't been forcing it. Like, I'm not going to eat just to say I ate. Now, later on, once I start getting to the mid to lower twos, I probably will do that because of, um, because of like muscle density. I don't want to lose too much muscle as I continue to lose weight. So it's like I said, I think I said this in the last vlog, I don't want to be working against myself. I don't want to be, when I work out, I don't want to be lifting weights and really gaining nothing from it. So if I'm going to be in the gym doing cardio and lifting weights, I want to see the benefits of me lifting weights. So like I said, I'm going to make sure I'm eating my carbs, eating my protein, eating my good healthy fat and stuff like that. But like I said, yeah, I'm about to, we about to run the HEB. So I might take out in the winters, I might not. Uh, I might show y'all what we get when we get back. It ain't gonna be too much. We just going to make a little quick store run, but that's what we about to go do. If I eat something when I come back, most definitely I know I'm gonna show y'all, but if I don't, hey, I'm just, I'm just gonna close that video. Just gonna keep it real with y'all, but yeah, that's what we got. So to HGP we go. All right, guys, 
We just made it back from H-E-B. And let me sit y'all up because we don't want to be on camera. We don't care. Oh, All right, guys. Just made it back from H-E-B. Ended up picking up some... um. Some more chicken, we got one more of these left. We tried, we cooked this, this, well, yesterday, and these are amazing, the um, H-E-B lemon pepper chicken. Just got another pack of 93.7, ground, mm, shoot, ground turkey or whatnot. But as far as like, that's, that's really much pretty it that I got to eat, because I got some, got some more packs of broccoli. They're both the same. Yeah, so the broccoli, rice, and cheese. Um, got some stuff for the kids. But yeah, that's, that's all I really picked up. Picked up some of these, some fresh baked tortillas because we got some ground turkey still in there that we need to eat. So I'm just going to make a little, a little taco. But um, I got this for tonight. It's a, a flatbread jalapeno pizza. And the total for the whole thing, since I hadn't eaten anything today, the whole container is 750 calories. So um, I still got like over 1400 calories left to eat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cook this and just eat this whole thing because it fits my macros and I'm gonna enjoy it. Cause I've been craving pizza y'all. And this gonna be my pizza for the night. This is gonna be it. I'm gonna eat this. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Road to 205. So, for you, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how we get down. Say it with me. God loves you. I love you. And life is better when you're you. Y'all be blessed.